we shall choose and teach the conduct in the pruning books. According to figure released by the INEC in January, there are 93.4 eligible voters in Nigeria registered. Of this number, women comprise 47.4 of the number of this percentage, while men comprise 52.5 of the number. There we have how the youth also that matter. That means if we actually campaign door to door, if we tell everyone to tell 10, and every 10 tells 100, and 100 tells 1,000, 1,000 tells 10,000, and tells a million, definitely APC we emerge. Operation door to door and operation know your neighbors. Operation time to mend the bridges and mend the gap. Operation time to build bridges. Operation time for humanity. This matters. The continued voters registration exercise, the Independent National Electoral Commission recorded a higher number of female registrants than the male. That means our numerical strength matters. That means women have a fundamental role to play in this election. Are we all together? Do we agree in our numerical strength? We have always done it. God willing, we will do it. For United, we are stronger. We must therefore meet our women where they are in groups, societies, marketplaces. We must engage them in table talks and sisterly heart to heart talk to understand the northerly rule. He who wears the shoes knows where it pinches most. Nigerian women wear the shoes of economic hardship or growth, economic development or leadership. Nigerian women wear the shoes of children training and upbringing. Certainly, it is ours to lose. We must unite to conquer the top, irrespective of differences. At the kitchens, at the fireside, at the coffee tables, water tanks, and dispenser corners across the world, Parties that enjoy greater support from women always hold the ace. And we know APC is one of the parties that enjoy the greater support. APC has given a enabling platform for women to transform. Are we together? Are we together? That is more like it. Women are more equipped to reach out to one another. This is our party. We must deploy it to a maximum advantage. Our presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the Jagaba of Borno, our river leader, a candidate like none other, is the vanguard of women empowerment above all other candidates. His support and encouragement to his wife says it all. Senator Onure Mitinubu OON is an eloquent demonstration of Asiwaju's commitment to giving political space to women. Action, they say, speaks louder than voice. Let them show us their candidates. Let them tell us their histories and trajectories. Then we will tell you we have a candidate that no one else can beat. Don't be deceived. We have confidence that our candidate, the Jacobin Borgu, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's presidency, is the best shoe to advance the fortunes of women in the country. He would ensure effective participation of women in all commanding hearts of the national economy, agriculture, manufacturing, high tech, and commerce. He has done it in his family. Charity, they say, begins at home. Our candidate has demonstrated with every dignity and sense of commitment that in his family. We have seen great respect from his children. That tells us.
ourselves that we are ready to embark on the resuscitation of our value system. That our children will remain respectful as ever. That no longer shall vices take control of our children. The leadership and presidency of Bola Ame Tinubu shall groom many young leaders, shall embark assiduously on mentorship because the dirt of mentorship in Nigerian leadership space is responsible for the lack of engagement. Are we together? Are we together? I would like to stop here. Time is no friend of mine. But I would like to say to you all, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for taking out your time this morning to attend this very important gathering. Thank you all very much indeed.